working with images inside of a responsive framework can sometimes be a bit challenging. Here, I've set up three columns inside of Bootstrap with a large image and several pieces of text. The problem is, how do I make sure that my image is going to fit inside my column? And how am I going to know what size columns I'm going to have given the fact that Bootstrap is responsive? Here's an example of what I currently see. My image is clearly too large. And in doing so, it overflows over halfway into my second column, making that text very difficult to read. If I was coding this myself, I would simply look at using a maxed width of 100%. And essentially, that's what Bootstrap gives us. But we're going to use a class instead of applying it directly to the style. By adding img-responsive, I now have a responsive image. When I come back to my browser and reload it, now my image will no longer go beyond the maximum width of my set of columns. This way it can shrink down and still stay within my columns. If I resize my browser, you can see how it gets smaller until I change position and therefore make it so I see my image. And then once again, my image, because my columns are stacked, now takes up the appropriate amount of width. This is a simple, easy way when I don't know how big my image should be to make it so my image always fits. The next thing I might run into is how do I want to work with these images? Switching back to my text editor, I want to look at different ways we can style our image. Now I've set up four columns. Each one of them has the exact same image so we can see its effect. The first one we'll leave as our standard responsive image. Our second column, I want to have rounded corners. I'm going to keep my class of image responsive, but add a new one that gives me slightly rounded corners. If I want extreme rounded corners, so much so that's in a circle, I can add the following class. This will provide a rounded corner of 50% making it so that my image is no longer square, but shows up in a circle, much like I would find on a Google Plus profile. Finally, I can add it so it's a thumbnail style. If we go back to my browser and reload, you can now see my images. You can see the standard, the one with the slightly rounded corners, the image in a circle, and finally you can see the thumbnail image which has a slight inset via padding and a slightly rounded external border to it. Now, do keep in mind, rounded corners do not exist in IE8 and before, so this may not work in all browsers. Also, note that this is pure CSS. It does not require any of the JavaScript associated with Bootstrap. This is just part of the CSS that makes Bootstrap easy to work with. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.